Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about scleritis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is sclera? Sclera is the white outer layer of the eyeball. Sclera is the opaque fibrous protective outer layer of the eye containing collagen and elastic fiber. At the front of the eye, the sclera is continuous with the cornea. Scleritis refers to an inflammation of the sclera proper. Scleritis is a serious inflammatory disease that affects the sclera. Sclera is this white outer layer of the eyeball and inflammation of this layer is called as scleritis. Now coming to the differences between scleritis and episcleritis. Scleritis is a serious disease. The incidence is less when compared to episcleritis and it usually occurs in the elderly. Now coming to the etiology of scleritis. Many cases of scleritis are idiopathic in origin. That is, the, their cause is unknown. Many cases of scleritis are associated with autoimmune collagen disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, polyarthritis nodosa and systemic lupus erythematosus. Some cases of scleritis are also associated with other conditions like metabolic diseases such as gout and thyrotoxicosis, infections like herpes zoster ophthalmicus, chronic staphylococcal and streptococcal infection, granulomatous diseases like tuberculosis syphilis, miscellaneous conditions like irradiation and chemical burns, and ocular surgeries. Now coming to the pathology in a case of scleritis. Histopathological changes in scleritis are similar to a chronic granulomatous disorder. There is fibrinoid necrosis, destruction of collagen is seen, and infiltration by polymorphonuclear cells, lymphocytes, plasma cells and macrophages are seen. Granuloma is seen surrounded by multinucleated epithelioid giant cells, old and new vessels. Coming to the classification of scleritis. Scleritis can be classified into non-infectious scleritis and infectious scleritis. Non-infectious scleritis can be classified into anterior scleritis and posterior scleritis. Anterior scleritis can be further classified into non-necrotizing scleritis and necrotizing scleritis. Non-necrotizing anterior scleritis can be further classified into diffuse type and nodular type. Necrotizing anterior scleritis can be further classified into necrotizing scleritis with inflammation and necrotizing scleritis without inflammation. Now let us see about the various types in detail. Non-infectious non-necrotizing anterior scleritis is the most common type of scleritis and accounts for 85% of all cases of scleritis. There are two types, they are diffuse scleritis and nodular scleritis. In diffuse type, there is widespread inflammation involving a quadrant or more of the anterior sclera. In nodular type, one or two hard purplish elevated immovable scleral nodules are seen. Coming to non-infectious necrotizing anterior scleritis. This accounts for 13% of the cases. There are two types, non-infectious necrotizing scleritis with inflammation and necrotizing scleritis without inflammation. In necrotizing scleritis with inflammation, it is an acute severe form of scleritis. It is characterized by intense localized inflammation associated with areas of infarction due to vasculitis. Necrotizing scleritis without inflammation is also known as scleromalacia perforans. It is seen mostly in elderly females with long-standing rheumatoid arthritis. It is characterized by development of yellowish patch of melting sclera. Posterior scleritis is a condition in which there is inflammation involving the sclera behind the equator. It is seen in 2% of cases of scleritis. Infectious scleritis is seen in 5-10% to of all cases of scleritis. In the early stage, the presentation of infectious scleritis is similar to non-infectious scleritis. However, it is necessary that you distinguish infectious scleritis from non-infectious scleritis because the treatment differs. Scleritis with purulent exudate, formation of fistulae, painful nodules, conjunctival and scleral ulcers point to a diagnosis of infectious scleritis. What are the symptoms of scleritis? Pain, redness, photophobia and lacrimation and diminution of vision are the chief symptoms of scleritis. The pain is moderate to severe. The pain wakes the patient early in the morning. The pain is deep and boring in character and it radiates to the jaw and temple. This is how a case of scleritis will present to you. What are the complications of scleritis? The complications are common in necrotizing scleritis. The complications include sclerosing keratitis, keratolysis, complicated cataract and secondary glaucoma. What are the investigations done in a case of scleritis? The investigations are done to identify associated systemic diseases or to establish the nature of immunologic reaction. The investigations include total leukocyte count, differential leukocyte count and ESR, serum C3, immune complexes, rheumatoid factor, antinuclear antibodies and LE cells, FTA, ABS, BDRL for syphilis, serum uric acid for gout, 
urine analysis, Monto test, and X-ray of chest, paranasal sinuses, sacroiliac joint, and orbit are done to rule out foreign body, especially in patients with nodular sclerosis. Now, coming to the treatment of non-infectious scleritis. Now, in case of non-necrotizing non-infectious scleritis, topical steroid eye drops and systemic indomethacin are given to the patient. In case of necrotizing scleritis, topical steroids are given along with oral steroids started at AV doses and then they are tapped slowly. In non-responsive cases, immunosuppressive agents like methotrexate can be given. Surgical treatment can be done in the form of scleral patch graft. How do you treat a case of infectious scleritis? In cases of infectious scleritis, topical and oral antimicrobial agents are given in an aggressive manner. Surgical debridement may be necessary. Topical and oral steroids worsen infectious scleritis, so they are contraindicated in a case of infectious scleritis. Thus, it is necessary to distinguish between infectious scleritis and non-infectious scleritis in the early stage for better treatment. Thank you.